Welcome to the Three River Valley series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And we're picking up on the 9th of August 1954. And in this part, what I want to do is carry on working on this area here. We've got a couple of things that need to be done. We've also finished the farm here, but I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. First, a big thank you for all your comments and feedback because you guys pick up on all my mistakes. And as somebody pointed out, I didn't actually connect up the road in this area. I think it was to this woodcutting post and I had completely missed it. So a big thank you for pointing that out. Also had a couple of comments pointing out the fact that I built the wrong type of bridge here. And in fact, what I've done is I built the concrete bridge, is it? I can't remember where it is now, where is it? This one here, the, the concrete bridge. And if you, I don't know if you can read it, but it says distance between pillars. 24 meters that's too narrow for ships and i think what actually happened was because i was intending to build uh, a, a, a more spaced out bridge here but i think because i built this bridge here which is a concrete bridge and i already built this railway bridge which effectively stops the ships coming up through here because we got three bridges through here i think i automatically transferred it to this bridge our viaduct here and what i've actually built now is the beam bridge and the reason for that is that it still doesn't need much not any steel just lots of concrete and gravel so so the concrete bridge and the beam bridge are effectively the one and the same things it's just that they've got different spans and i think this one costs a little bit more in concrete to build so i've now fixed that problem as well you can see the marks here where i had a little bit of a problem trying to get this bridge across because Unlike the concrete bridge, this one won't curve. It tends to be a little bit rigid on the angles. So I had to kind of fudge the angles a little bit coming off at each end to get that connection done. Now, the next next comment was quite interesting, actually, because somebody, somebody actually pointed out that uh, my hunting lodge is up here. Uh, where are they? I think they're just here. Are a little bit close to the town and don't look very realistic because there's not any trees here now i think in the short term i think what we'll do is we'll just clutch it a little bit by kind of maybe creating a park here so that eventually this will grow up and look a bit like a, a forested area uh, however what i most likely will do is move these out to this area eventually well, i've got two solutions actually First one is I'll probably bring them out to here, away from the city, so it's a little bit more realistic. And I think this is indicative of, of something which has grown on me since I started doing more and more early starts, is that I, I like to see my cities evolve over time, rather than just put plonking down a city saying, this is the fixed final thing, it's going to stay like it forever. Yeah, I mean, these are in the wrong places, but the way you could look at it is that these were providing the meat for the initial settlers, and now the time's gone to maybe move them out here. So I probably will move these. It depends on how well the trees look in this area, because we are getting quite a lot of surplus meat in here, which then comes into uh, a follow-on from that comment, which is I, I hadn't considered the options of putting in a uh, meat supply into here well, so that it can be brought in from the outside so what I'm kind of oh, I, uh, it's not good oh, oh look at that that fits a bit close to that railway track but I think the game will forgive me I think it was a bit of a mistake putting that fire station in there now if I could yes I mean we're going to need to when I, mean, I could uh, actually um did I get a... Ah, oh, it's the wrong way around. Okay, change change of plans. If I remove that and then... Maybe... Oh, look at that. We can put that in. Yeah, sneak it in there. That's even better, isn't it? And we don't actually need a... Just stick in a little level road like that. That get that. Build that in, but we don't really need to worry too much about that. So that's fixed. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, maybe we can do the same here. 
I should have more space here for yeah look at that we'll put in another one just over here oh that will fit in perfect like that yeah I'll just put that one in there as well on you and what that will mean is that the meat can be delivered by train once I get a central meat production area up and running, which is what I am planning on doing. Like again, I think this is part of the evolution of of the economy and the map is that yes, yeah, so you start off with local production, but then it grows to centralized production depending on the size. But some places will retain local production. Now the next uh, bit of fun I've got is that we've now got this area finished and as far as i know we've got power in here as well so one of the key focuses of this part is actually getting uh this set up now this needs 15 workers got a nice bus here but it's a bit big let me just see if we got anything better because we are in the 1950s so we should be getting some <clears throat> slightly better buses you're 85, you're 65. I think what uh, what we'll do is we'll get a couple of these in. Uh, we got the money for it, so we'll just bring in a couple of those. We'll just let the game over those. Now, the next fun bit is that I've got to get this up and running without kind of disturbing my steel production too much. And I do have an idea. I want to see... I mean, steel-wise, we're not too bad. We've got 81 tonnes of steel. And... What I want to do is we're just going to scoot over to here because we've got nearly four hundred thousand in dollars, and what I'm very interested in we're going to need dumpers. Yeah, we got the Peter built three five ones because what I'd like to do is we got I got this um, little area here um, dumpers. Um, we get one these are 60,000 each and really I want I'll set six of them one two three four five six we're gonna blow all our money on bringing these out to here and the idea is is that these will pick up from here and deliver the iron ore to uh, where is it here this is a little bit of a stretch but these have got the speed for the greater distance then the office that's up here once they've actually got set up um where is it there's one in here that's importing the iron ore i'm sure it's one of these don't tell me i've got to build a new one okay uh, let me just check something <laughs> I thought I had a, a construction office up here. Where is the iron ore coming from? Not construction office, sorry, distribution office. We're using a free one? That's no good. That is absolutely no good whatsoever. Right, we're going to have to put in a distribution office. Yeah, a little bit of a fail there. Um, put another distribution office just there you might as well put right, um, that in there that's going to be a high priority okay so we're going to have a little bit of a delay getting our iron production up and running We've got plenty of staff in here just waiting to get stuck in we'll build a a new one wherever i put it there it is just there the trouble we're going to have is this this is going to be a little bit of a problem um, with respect to bringing stuff in. Uh, I'm going to, we really need to get the train working um, so we can bring some stuff in. And the moment uh, I think I've flipped the train, I've got the all the way out to here and the train started to go here. But what, because we're rapidly approaching the point where I'm going to need a second rail constructor, I think the job that the rail is working on is one of these, which is the top one.
46%. Yeah, I'm trying to get this one finished out to here. Um, so that what we can get to speed the game up a little. Uh, so that we can get this built here so I can put the crossover. And then what I want to do is once we get the second rail construction train in, once this is built, I want to push them out this way so that we can start working on this bridge because I think this connection is going to be nearly as important as the connection to the border. So I think we can just leave the uh, game to just trundle through on its own accord at the moment. And we're just going to go north. Now up here, uh, I've got a little bit of a plan. Now, first things first, I've, the farm is finished, but I don't really want to put tractors in there at the moment because if I zoom right out and click on the fire station, you can see that that's right on the extreme limit of um, my fire protection. I don't really want to put a lot of tractors into here, only for them to be um, destroyed. Plus, I want to do a little bit more work on this area here because I've kind of been looking at this. And, of course, the last part we put out this area here. And I really believe that I've got, I've got to get some heating in here, partly to support this area here and also partly to some, uh, maybe improve the living conditions here. And I'm liking this area here. So what we're going to do is... We're going to put in a heating plant. Now, what I'm considering is that rather than going for logs, maybe we can go for coal, but or maybe logs would be cheaper because it will be, but it will need a lot of infrastructure to kind of bring the logs in to get things built up. But then for tumin fuel, I think I will go for logs. Uh, where is it? this here now this this is going to be a kind of a temporary building again just to get this area kind of functioning a little bit better Can I, will that flip yes it will that's better I actually was put it there put you out a little bit like that and then we're just going to put a mud road in we want the this built. I just push this up to um, high priority, and then what we'll do is just put in a small door. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's gone the wrong way. Is it? Mm -hmm. This one's not that much good. It's no good. Put a small open store in do something like that push it across like that maybe angle you out a little bit and then we'll just put in a wood cutting post the other way and all this is going to have to do is produce the wood for this area here You can come there. Build that first. Anyway, just I know I'm kind of pushing this a little bit. And if we can get this built, how much does this store in the way of logs? Because at the moment I'm quite happy just to have like an intermediate heating plant. Um, do we have any distribution offices that still um available to see this one's full actually do we have any free ones that could be an interesting question oops oh, we've got four out of five we could put a free distribution office in here i think i need to recover some of my other ones but of course they're down with my other part of the city so we've got this here. If we build this, this will heat. We can use this to heat this town and get effectively move the population from here to here. 
and then we can start working more on building up this area here um we got some, lots and lots of roads here um laying out stuff get that built i mean we've got so much to build um it's just trying it's going to be try just trying to get a bit of momentum up here so that we can get things working i mean we've got a population of pushing nearly fourteen thousand. uh i kind of feel that i need to work a little bit more on this area actually um we've got the road built there i think this road is now built we've got the road digging crew on that <laughs> um it's going to go very slowly isn't it um but i don't know they're, they're working at it i mean really it needs a crane but right we got the peter Bork trucks here right now what i'm going to do is we're going to be a little bit sneaky we're going to tell you to load iron from here and deliver it to here this should ensure continuity with the that these guys have got the speed to go out and fill that up and that means that this one here where are you guys got two trucks here where are you It's going to find these trucks. You. Um, haha. <laughs> it buys you. You. Where are you? You're just coming back this way. I want you in that depot there. Um, just follow this guy. And we'll just let him haven't followed a truck for a little while so see what it looks like to be traveling through my economy it's a bit of a kind of sore back bridge isn't it so uh let's get you over there a lot of vehicles sat around doing nothing over here we could probably steal some of those for other production purposes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, we've got a tree right in the middle of the road there. The trouble is, if I try and delete that, I could actually do give myself a bit of a problem. Right, you deliver that 9.5 tons in there. And then we'll just right back out again. And we'll send you to the what we call it office. you back to where are you as well and then that means i can actually get rid of this distribution office i got this little bit of road here actually i think we're got an asphalt road there that can get built in its own time and get that built to get this built then we can use that to move the stuff to there what other jobs is my road crew um you're building that it's the reason that road crew on that one what are you guys doing I'm not seeing any major building projects over here. So that's an opportunity because we don't need to build this area. But what we do need to do is start thinking about this. And more importantly now, we need to start building the infrastructure up here. I think what we're going to need is the cable way 
up here first because we're gonna need the fire station in fact we can we, so we need to get people up here this is the contradiction of the game so if we uh we we'll also need power up here don't we right we're gonna build that because we know that's got fire coverage we can build this this and this start building up the road there there's also somewhere in here is a power line which we're going to need to build which will come up to somewhere here here we need that power there so the, the idea is is we'll get the, the cable way up and running whoa fire 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 where's that Ah, it's okay. We're back to our good old blocks here. I'm sure these guys aren't up to fire regulations. They seem to catch fire quite regularly. But um, luckily we got plenty of people there. That's not good. That's, that's our heating plant. We need to... I think what I'm going to do is we've got quite a lot of workers at the moment. Sat around doing nothing. With these guys. You can go into here I'm just gonna let you use up these workers for the moment keep them busy um, there's the university as well I think we can increase our workforce in there yeah because they've got some people waiting for professors here the advantage also is that we need to do some research what do we want we need chemistry We've Get that out of the way i mean research isn't a big problem in this game it's just something that i tend to forget all about <laughs> um, okay so we've got that there we need to get things built up here this is built now so we need that there built this needs to be high priority shouldn't take long for the crews to put that and chuck that together Got the road crews there we got everyone working hard there right we're going to scoot back to over here and see what's going on we are going into winter which is a little bit interesting right haha <laughs> right this is nearly finished right um we're gonna need where did i put that distribution office um, the new one did i put a new one in i'm sure i put one in bring you in there and I want some open holes um, with the reasonable speed reasonable carry capacity near 60 what we got speed wise for 1.5 tons 7 tons we're going to get 1, 2, 3 of those bring them into there what we'll do is for the, this winter if this gets finished we will which it is finished we got workforce in there good great uh, these guys are already on the case you're gonna buy logs and or wood i keep because it looks like logs and your job is going to be to keep that 100 percent And what this will should do is got workforce in there, missing wood, but if we can get a nice strong supply of wood in there. I mean, strictly speaking, I didn't really need to build this, but I think it just kind of fits with the kind of frontier. Got some pines, some more trees in here. Build this up a bit. I could put in because we are on the frontier here I mean, the trouble is I don't want to I mean we've got unemployment wise here got 300 and things but I bet you all that unemployment is down in the the other bo bottom of the map let's just have a look let's see if we've got any unemployment here don't really have any unemployment here in fact these are probably filling up quite successfully I think the amount of meat consumption here 
is not particularly that relevant. Right, so we've now got that there. Look at this. I think we've got, we're building that, we're building roads, we've built this. Um, what are we building over here? What's that? Oh, we've got a small construction site that's being built. We've got a small free construction site. Okay. Um, not exactly sure what's happened there. What I've done is, is I, I've realised that this is a bit over the two clusters. So what I'm going to do is, is create a dedicated road construction crew here. In fact, we'll rename you North Camp uh, Road Crew. Road, we'll just call it Road. And then we'll call you North Camp Main we need this built um, so we can get a proper road crew operating because we are approaching 1955 and that's when we get a roller available which should then speed up this process I think I will start to get that built because if we get this farm going the idea up here is just to get a nice big supply of crops in here and we can sell some crops if we don't get the food production going but to get the food production going we need this town built so so much to build here so much to get going um we need this road built as well i'm just starting to wonder whether i should have oh well we'll be okay <laughs> don't think there's anything much else we can build up here at the moment Partly because the fact now we're going into winter, so the speed of building up here is going to drop dramatically. What is the happiness here? Let me see. Not bad. I mean, it's not brilliant either, but it's... Yeah, I mean, the productivity is relatively low. But I think if we could, we've got now got in here. Well, what that means is that what we should have here is bits we i did have a problem with the kindergarten and i did plan this kindergarten looks like this one's filling up again already we may need to get some more workforce into this area but how's the food supplies this is good um the electronics where's the meat one yeah it's it's so so but we can keep that going Um, I mean, I must I'm really surprised how much we've got lots and lots of workers up here. I, I do, I do wonder whether there's an advantage in moving. Actually, I just had a thought. Where is, oops, where am I? I've got lost on the map. I've just had a little bit of a thought. We've got our... Which is the one with which I put the buses in? That's technical services. Where's the... Ah, it's on this side. I'm wondering if I... Because most of the workers are up here. If I put you onto there... I've got a feeling this is where most of my unemployment is. Let's see... We've got loads of unemployment here, so in fact I'm very tempted to pull some of these out and get some more. We've got quite a lot of um, these things sat around doing nothing, and I'm going to need these. So if we pull out one of you and send you to there. What I'm thinking is if I put a small construction office here, um, maybe about here. No, the road's there. A little bit of patch of area there. And let me just see. What I need is... Uh, oh, this has got a parking slot for seven. Uh, we don't need this to be 
proper road. We can put a mud road in there. And we can build that. And what I'm thinking is that we can use this to set use move the workers up from here. That we really need this built. Super high priority, please, game. I think, yeah, if we could get a, a dedicated uh, construction office here just for workers, that means we can push the workers. Wow, God, these guys are just throwing this up. <laughs> I suppose these towers, I've got a feeling that the towers themselves um, don't need that. I mean, they don't need that much in the way of workforce. So... Um, Right, we need to get this area built. Come on, game, please. Um, the moment you're wasting my resources and we've got this massive traffic jam here. Um, how are we doing? How are the Peterbilts doing? Whoops. With respect to getting the iron ore in. I mean, if they're being very efficient, what I might do is use a couple of them to move the actual iron ore rather than the iron. Um... Probably not being as, as good as they should be. But um, we might better split the difference, I think. A bit of a queue here. Let me just check the, the road situation here. Um, da, da, da. Got priority there, priority there, priority there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the iron mine has got a, it's rapidly gone up the priority rating. I want to check my fuel situation. Fuel's really good, actually. Um, when you think that this biofuel plant is supplying all the fuel for this our whole area, um, it's going, and we're actually making money, small amounts of money. As long as I stay on the positive side, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, we actually get, I think we're getting close to the point where we're going to get over 21s, aren't we? It's uh, three flats. Yeah, we're kind of, <laughs> our population is starting to run away with us. Um, I don't know. And the clothing situation isn't brilliant, but that's okay. We can, we can live with that. And we got our... Um, I don't, I mean, I could start building this, but I don't see the points. Let me just, that's being built, that's being built, this is being built. This is going up really quickly. Um, but I put added the fire station. We need that fire station built and we need, yeah, I think we'll get this up here. get that built so our first thing is to get the fire coverage up here and also there's a little bit of a trick in the fact that if the workers go into the there they may actually come up here to work on this um coal mine so we may be able to get this up and running it possibly through the winter and that would be absolutely brilliant and where's that keep losing it right we've now got this built um, do, do, do. So what we're going to do is let's come on that. Going to send you there. You there. And we're probably going to need a lot more trucks than this actually, but you're gonna you're gonna add even more pressure to this border pick up but we want iron ore is it worth that it's the 25 tons i think what i might do in the short term is we're delivered directly to here let me say 100 percent and then what we're going to have to do is Pick you up. This has got how many passengers do you carry? Forty. 
So we're gonna and we we'll set this to about sixty percent. You're gonna come to there, and you're gonna drop off. We have two buses. Put the line splicing on. What we do is, what that should do is, got 15 workers in here, and that should come that way. Right um, now, these guys now need to pick up from here. What I'm going to do is see if I can kind of transfer this over over time by doing that. Because what should happen is these trucks should start to come into this area. Um, we're going to cause absolute mayhem here, but <laughs> um, hopefully we can get some iron ore working in here. We really do need to get this iron mine built ASAP so we do need to get this whole lot this has got to be the number one priority um, sorry up north but this has to be the way things are let's try and get this built it's actually coming together really quickly which is brilliant um, what we're going to do is You've only got one pickup point which is there and what we're going to do is one, two, three, four, five and we'll add you to our very long list and what that will do is hopefully draw on this workforce here wow. <laughs> um, and top it up Well, we're getting a little bit of iron blowing, but it's going to take a little while for this to settle down. I think, well, how's the unemployment now? But this was it dropped through the the basement because I've got... Yep. I think it's time to add another apartment block on. Well, let me just see. I think maybe how far away are you... Uh, you can't really get to that and I think I compensated that I put a shop out here but I don't want to bring that online just yet so what we'll do is build another one of those okay let's scoot back up north how are we doing up here this road is nearly finished we can get this up and running i don't think i need this to be honest i think this is a, a little bit of a waste of money uh well, just let this guy finish the road yeah i don't think we're gonna build this um because i don't think we got much of a queue here and i think it'd just be uh, I think what I'll do is I'll build the road here. That's going to cost me virtually nothing. But we won't build this just yet. We've got other things that we need to build, like out here. Um, we still haven't finished these little bits of what we call it. We've got these roads to be built, which uh, they really need a, a, a roller for. What's the crew here? I'll probably, I think I need to get this built and then maybe we can work on getting this area expanded out a little bit more. Yeah, I think that would be more effective, to be honest. Rather than building this. Um, because this has got plenty of there. Let me just take a look at the heat overlay for this. Uh, where is it? 
is 70 degrees Celsius. And of course, we've got no interior temperatures from these because I don't think this actually shows it, does it? Well, we got there. They're all, all the water tanks are full, so so we now dealt with the pollution problem. And generally, people are happy. I do wonder when I put in. Uh, how about the outer camp here? These ones aren't quite so happy, but I think the problem with these is that they're a little bit far away from the available resources. So, although this is the 73, but they've got food shortage. Um, right, I'm just going to stuff to put it that way. That says not unable to participate in sports. Ah, yeah, because of course the problem we're going to get here is they don't do in sport during the winter. Actually, I don't think they've actually got a sports ground up here, actually. Did I build one? Let me just look at the buildings. No, we don't actually have any sports up here. So we need to get them uh, some kind of sport entertainment type stuff here. Right, I think what we'll do is... Yeah, it's a bit of an oversight there. Um, I think the problem is that the sports ground for the game, for the camp, is a little bit bigger. Maybe we'll give them a little bit of a luxury here. Let me just see. Sports hall was my favourite. Can we wedge you in here a little bit? Maybe we'll put you in there. Yeah, look, a bit of an oversight there. Is that a road connection or a foot? Oh, there's no footpath. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to do that. Now we should be able to do it. The reason for that is that these footpaths, that footpath was connected between two buildings rather than to a road. Um, we'll just pump the priority up on that as well. Get that going. Let's get back to over here apologies for the flying whoops apologies for the flying across the map but um let's see here how we doing um that's keeping that going we've got boards up here and the wood supply um can't remember if I put the, I mean, to, to be honest, at the moment, this is kind of just a, a nice to have. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried if the workforce is erratic there. Um, the main thing here is this is now settling down a bit. We are producing iron ore here. We can now afford to remove you from the customs post. Um, now you guys can focus exclusively on the, where are you guys let's just see where they are pretty cool looking truck actually I like that actually really oh look at that <laughs> bit of a kamikaze driver I do wonder if I can hook one of these. Because at the moment these guys seem to be completely on top of things. Um, yeah, they're not really picking up lots of... I mean, they're picking up lots of iron, but it's very small quantities. These guys are not really carrying large quantities. I think what we'll do is we'll snag you out and... Just to make sure. But you send you to there. We can try and get this into balance. The blockage is here. That means that we do need to work on this area here. Like this is coming here. This is built. This has got power. 
Now the next thing I need to do, this is go out to here. Where is the substation up here? We need that substation built and that built there. Uh, we might as well, I'm thinking about it, or get that built. What that should do is provide the coverage so that the conveyors will work. Yep. Um, Don't want ah this is where they all are I don't want you in here yet because I need you working somewhere else preferably here keeping my economy going ow literally throwing this up um, what's the unemployment situation now? We've got unemployment due to small children. I'm prepared to guess that it's here. Uh, let me just see. Um, put that on there because the snow's just arrived. Yeah, we got the kindergarten is probably full. Um, yeah. We're going to need another kindergarten nursery block. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got a small theatre here. It's a school. Indoor pool. <laughs> um, small theatre. We don't have, we've got a kindergarten there. I think there's scope for maybe a kindergarten on this corner if it will fit but maybe we need something a little bit bigger because we've got quite a lot of blocks here let me just see now the base one is 100 if we could get something that's a little bit bigger in this corner this is an old nursery block but i don't believe that that is actually 210 because this is an old nursery block. In this case, I suppose we could put another old nursery block in here. Um, maybe we could squish it in. Oh no, we got a kindergarten here. What am I on about? Okay. Yeah, we'll build this one. And then that should serve as this area. And what that should do is get some small children from this area. <laughs> right, let's just see where my rail lines are. Actually, no, let's just have a quick look. Of course, they're, everything's going to slow down now because of winter. I really, maybe I need a technical office here because this one seems to always want to go that way. But this is a quite an important road, so... Uh, I think we need a technical office here. And so if I can put in that office there. And we're that in as well. Yeah, I think if I can keep, see, these guys work here, but I need to keep this main road out like, active as well. So, right, we've now built this through here. Um, we got our service road there. Number of trucks has dropped. That's okay. Um, we need to keep a um, pretty strong eye, eye, kind of monitor. What's this one? Where, where you go? Oh no, you're you're already allocated, aren't you? We just need steel and stuff up here. This is going to be a little bit of a haul. <laughs> The jobs have we got allocated we got i think what we could do is start to put the towers in here start to get this conveyor belt system built it's the nice thing about conveyors is that they don't need they just need steel and mechanics 
So, oh, well, maybe that's not such a good idea. <laughs> we'll just build the tower in there. This is working quite well. All right, let's just have a quick look at the... Oh, how well is my railway doing? Or track layer doing? Right, so he's started work on the back curve. We do need to get out to here on this track. If we get this back curve done through here and this one done, that would be a major um, connection. Because what we could do is then once this is built, actually I'm, what I'm going to do is how far out can I get? Oh, it's not that. How much... I'm kind of thinking, because we're moving to the 1950s, I think if I put in a signal about here, that splits this track, right. So what we're going to do is do the back curves, build out to here, build out to here, and if I put a crossover here, what that means should mean is that my track layer will be able to come out this way. Well, we've got 106 pages of messages at the moment. So there's a good chance we may have got a new vehicle or something coming, and I haven't noticed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick look through. Um, no, we haven't got the disassembled yet. Um, we haven't... The, We've only still got the basic paver. So it's probably not going to roll over until the... How can you say? It's not going to roll over until 19, uh, 1955. That's looking good. Um, about power supply. So we need this power supply. This. Okay, that's done. This needs to be high priority. And um, what is this? Because we need the fire protection up here with the workforce. Um, right, we've got kindergarten being built there. That will free up this. And we can then move into this area. I think possibly we can consider bring in this shop online if I do that that will ensure that we got plenty of there how's the working situation we, yeah um, I think I might have overloaded this a little bit but as long as we got yeah we got no workers in here but then there's nothing for them to pro process okay uh -huh. yeah I think this was too much over the top though guys so we're going to shut this down. It's just... We're going to turn off the auto detect. That's uh, that's what's causing the problem with all these workers, isn't it? Um, right, we're going to put you on kind of targeted um, factory connections here. You can you can finish the factory connection. And Ironton warehouse that can come off as well. Right. What we're going to do is move uh, a couple of these back to the depot because um, we might as well use these for other purposes. So we'll just leave a couple of in here. Your job is to work on that. We're going to use the this as a priority type push type situation. Uh, like that. Um, you can finish those. That's okay. And we've now got this block is finished. Yeah, that explains why we had all the workers probably hanging around in these buildings. That might improve. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Um, yeah, that's improved the situation a little bit, and that got our workers back. All 181 of them. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe once we've got the power up here, 
we might be able to use the workers up here to get things going right up what other jobs have we got I only just got that job there I think we need to make a start on the coal mine and the get that built if we can get this built through when then we would it be brilliant to get this connected up um by well next year would be the priority um doo -doo -doo. right we are now on december we haven't had a fire so now we need to look at um available tractors um what's actually have you auto detected all the fields right next job we need to do is I'm just going to remove the U. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Any other medium fields around here? No, I think we've got all the medium fields. So, next thing is five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. That's it, isn't it? We got. And the reason I've done that is that what you want to do is do the medium fields first to get a bit of a, a kind of jump on the process of getting everything put together. And then what, and the idea is, is that. The tractors that will um, be in here will often go to these fields without refueling, but that may not be the thing. I've just noticed I've missed a road out here. That's still to be built, though, isn't it? Oh, it's not. It's not finished. That's that's finished. So, um, uh, you in there? That needs to be built. Still got to finish these. Right, back to tractors. Uh, we can only buy with rubles, sewing. What was the best tractor we got? This is 17 with thing. This is 15 with 14. 14, so. Basically, they're all rubbish. <laughs> um, this is, basically, this is about the best of a bad job, isn't it? It's got a top speed of 18. I'm not exactly sure how a reindeer snowplow can work. Uh, I know it's crazy, guys, but 25 kilometers top speed, um, 22. We're going to put by two of those, and then we'll buy one, two, three, four of those. <laughs> I know, I know, it's, I know, it's crazy, but. I'm just curious. Uh, I'm just going to be curious to see how fast they will go and how effective they will be. Anyway, guys, I've realised that I've gone over time on this video, so this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And what I'll do is I'll work through the rest of the winter so we can see how our reindeer um, sewing machines work out here. And, of course, in the next part, the focus has got to be on this area here um, we got to get the iron mine up and running so that we can get rid of this traffic jam here because if we can get some of the trucks off of there that's going to make a big difference but until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming